With several seasons under its belt and franchises coast to coast, love and hip hop has become a pop culture phenomenon. From outlandish feuds, jaw-dropping drama, and unexpected twists, the show is never short on must-see moments we can't turn away when our favorite couple's relationships are tested. Let's take a trip down memory lane and relive some of the most outrageous love triangle moments in love and hip hop history. Somehow love triangles are inevitable on love and hip hop. In season four of New York, Peter Guns found himself in a particularly messy situation. The rapper was managing two relationships, one with his ex-girlfriend Tara Wallace and the other with his new girlfriend Amina Butterfly. You don't believe that he loves me? Not really. I feel bad. Like, I want you to know. Like, I'm not, like, here saying, like, I don't give oh, a f I don't give a flying f about okay. your about your sorry, sad feelings. It's not his life. It happens in life. People fall in love with other people, and he fell in love with me. I can't, I couldn't I help. can't say that it's love. I, didn't know. I can say it's an outlet. I'm Listen, an outlet. If I like you know to go to great you want me to tell you something? Too. I love going to great I'm an outlet. Playing around. I'm his wife. As if circumstances weren't complicated enough, Things only got worse when Amina found out the truth. Do you think that Peter's faithful to you right now? Let, let her answer that. Do you think that Peter's well, faithful you better to you right be. now? Well, I'm here to tell you that he's not. How do you know? Because I just sat on it whenever I want. Whenever I want. she? Wednesday, I said, Peter, please, come to my make me me. And what did you do? Did you? Did you? Really? Did you? The drama played out on screen, leaving viewers in shock. Karma plays no games, paying people back for their dirt. The love triangle between Stevie J, Jocelyn, and Mimi were also a recurring theme on Love & Hip Hop Atlanta. However, nothing could prepare fans for the infamous cheating scandal that rocked season three. Jocelyn, who was Stevie's side chick, announced on TV that she was pregnant with his child. I took a pregnancy test. Pregnant. Mimi, Stevie's baby mama, was devastated and enraged, and the subsequent confrontation between the two women was pure reality TV gold. The hot-blooded Puerto Rican princess and Mimi came to blows repeatedly, with Stevie caught in the middle. I got, I got something for you. This is just like some, you know what I'm saying? Small token of my appreciation to you too. <laughs> you don't want this? Classic. You don't want this? Stevie Look J. At Classic. You like that? You yeah. don't piss your fiance off. Justin, where you going? She's leaving. No, I can't let you go down the elevator. Okay. See, are you serious? I'm not doing anything. While there have been many couples on the show, none have been as unforgettable as Kurt and Rashida Frost. Their love story started off picture perfect, but quickly spiraled into a tale of accusations and betrayal. Rumors of infidelity, DNA tests, and other women shook up their fairy tale. Nothing could prepare Rashida when stories emerged that Kirk had fathered a child with another woman. Carly had a conversation with the girl. Mm-hmm. And I would guess if you don't know her, then she don't know you, right? But obviously she does know you. She knows a whole lot about you. Y'all done been in a relationship. That's not true. That your ass take care of her. Then Carly tells me that there's a video of you with the girl holding a baby in your hand. So what I'm trying to figure out is, what the is up? Why would you do that? You wasn't thinking about me. You wasn't thinking about Carter. Peter, you wasn't thinking I about Kyle. I love you. I love my family. I, I throw this I, you. But I'm, but no, you, you don't. I throw the you don't. You okay. couldn't. You couldn't do the dumb did. No, you oh, couldn't. Man, you throwing in my face. Because I might not be perfect, but goddamn. I'm the type of bitch you want to go a, a bitch at the strip club? That's what I get. That's what I get from my friends. What you gonna do? She struggled to come to terms with the rumors 
and battled with Kirk for months until he finally admitted to being the father of the child. I guess there's no easy way to say this, so I'm just gonna say it. I did take the DNA test and the results did come back and it is me. I'm not at all surprised to hear that the baby is Kirk's, but I ain't gonna lie, getting the confirmation that it's definitely true is a big ass punch to the gut. Any little bit of hope I had thinking we could forget about this whole thing is all gone now. This is some careless ass selfish shit. Not only some old girl, that's one thing. Now it's a child, an innocent child. Can you move in? No. But it ain't even about me. It's about our kids. They don't deserve to see their dad, who they look at like the man of the year. And now, how are you gonna sit down and talk to them about this? I mean, I'm gonna talk to the kids. You need to do what you need to do for your kids. The ball is in your court. From cheating scandals to surprise marriages, pregnancies, and babies, the love triangles on the Love & Hip Hop franchises will have you hooked with every salacious storyline. If you haven't already, check out these couples and more celeb relationships on Love & Hip Hop.